The next item is item number two, application for certificate of appropriateness at 24 Knollwood Avenue in the Douglaston Historic District, docket number 16-0105, block 8018, lot 15, an arts and crafts style house designed by George Keister and built in 1907. This is an application to modify fenestration, remove an entrance hood, install mechanical equipment, and relocate a hatch.
these are the drawings. So you got the location already. Um, this is the existing uh, cellar, and this is where we're uh, blocking this entry and, and removing the stair that goes down to the cellar and relocating that to this position here, which faces Norwood Avenue. Uh, this is the first floor plan. This shows you the new Bilko door on the north facade. This is the generator, and there are three AC units. This is the fence and gate that will be installed. And there's existing shrubbery that screens the side very well. This is the uh, last inch porch that we'll be working on the windows. Here's uh, the cellar access. This is the view. This is the shrubbery that's screening it right now. All of this. This is uh, a hedge along the street. This is the view of the driveway of the garage doors that will be changing. So these are the porch windows. Uh, to make them casements and make them operable, we had to rework this panel here, which is currently two, and make it three. Uh, the front door gets raised so that the transoms are all the same height. And otherwise, we try to follow the pattern of the existing storm windows as closely as possible. And this is the one that gets reworked to be three panels instead of two. Uh, this is the uh, view of the garage doors and the Bilko door, uh, which is about a foot and a half above grade, it's screened from the street by uh, the shrubbery. This uh, door in the back is one 16-foot wide door that's made to look like two carriage-style doors. This is the uh, north facade. This is the West facade, this is the lattice panel that will uh, go here to screen the new equipment that's being added and relocated. And this is the view. This is the sort of the only place you get to see where, where that fence is, uh, which is that you can't really see it because of the neighbor's uh, shrubbery. Here it is again, if you're standing right at the driveway, it's an oblique view. This, this is the shrubbery and the fences on this curb right behind here, so it's very hard to see. This is the uh, kitchen door that we're replacing with uh, French doors and moving uh, the entry hood slightly to the right. And this is the south elevation, which this is the only point that you get a view. You, you don't get a view because of the shrubbery. Uh, the hedge that encircles this property blocks your Inside there is a second fence at the uh, face of the building uh, in there, so there's no way to see what's going on from the south facade. If you want to see other similar build door locations <coughs> near this house, on a secondary facade, I have images of that. I think it's fine, thank okay, you. Thank you. All right. Are there uh, questions? But, um, before you move yes. on, we forgot to mention the, um, there are some additional windows that he's proposing. Um, so the here on the, um, on the west side, um, this is the existing condition. They're proposing to add another window mm -hmm. here. Same thing over here on the north side. Uh, this is facing Nolwood mm -hmm. Avenue. There's nothing here, but they are proposing to put this here. Um, and it corresponds with the plan. And I'd also like to tell you that um, we thought that this was odd that there's kind of this blank space. And in doing uh, minor alterations to the interior that have already been approved by LPC, we discovered that um, this porch was a sleeping porch on the second floor, accounting for why there's that solid wall. Thank you, Mr. Wolf. I think there's some questions for you. Yes, uh, Roberta. Just show on your site plan where that new equipment is going. Sure, so it's easier mic. to see in relation to the street. So um, this is the, the Bilko door and the air conditioning equipment. This is uh, Nolwood Avenue. This is West Drive. I'll go back to the site plan, but this is the blow up of, of the four units, generator and three AC condensers. How far is the building set back from the street? 
It's set back 20 feet, 6 inches. OK. <clears throat> All right, so in fact, the, the mechanical equipment and the fence is 20 feet behind the yes. property line? and the generator is set back another six inches from that. This, this is the generator here, so uh, this is the line that's the 20 foot six inches the face of the building. And the street is, is the it's street, on the corner the there? The street is here. Uh -huh. This is no, no wood 20 feet uh -huh. away, and uh -huh. this is West Drive here. And what uh -huh. does the fence look like? Uh, the fence is a lattice panel, three and a half feet yeah. tall heavy um, vertical and horizontal lattice. Paint it, what color? Uh, it's going to be left to weather out silver. I was just going to open. Where is the kitchen door on the plan that you Sure. Uh, this is the kitchen okay, door. OK, thank you. All right, are there any other questions for Mr. Wolf? OK, thank you. Thanks. We'll take public testimony. Barbara Zay. They have the historic districts council with full disclosure that the applicant Kevin Wolf is a member of HDC's board of advisors our committee commends this project for its sensitivity to the property and for the thoughtful approach taken in respecting the Douglaston vernacular thank you thank you are there any more speakers community board 11 submitted their uh, resolution they also recommend approval of this application do we have any other questions for the applicant? Any questions? All right, we can close the hearing. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, not as yet, right. Uh, any concerns about this application? I think, uh, I think it's actually very sensitive, the changes that they've made. They seem very much in keeping with the character of the building and the district. They've used multi-light windows, their proportions, even the additional windows that they have incorporated seem very much in the vocabulary of the sites. Yes, Dan. Oh, I was just going to say I agree that the, this uh, kind of uh, pro, uh, the portions is very typical of this district. And uh, in, in general, I think the visibility of all the elements is, uh, is obviously small, but also that they're well considered. So. Uh, are there any other comments? Yeah, I, yes. I just wanted to comment that I think they did a particularly good job with the converting the facade of the garage to eliminate the post and, and create the carriage doors with the image of the post in the middle. It's a very nice detail. Mm -hmm. Very nicely detailed. All right, if uh, there are no other comments, I think we can vote this out. Uh, we have to read it into the record, the resolution. Uh, John, you'd like to do that? Okay. okay. Uh, regarding docket 16-0105, 24 Norwood Avenue, Douglaston Historic District. Application is to modify fenestration, remove an entrance hood, install mechanical equipment, and relocate a hatch. I recommend approval, finding that the existing porch windows and door were originally installed as temporary seasonal elements, which were not integral to the fenestration pattern of the building. Therefore, their replacement with new windows and doors with different configurations from the existing will not eliminate a significant architectural feature or compositional element that the proposed porch windows and doors will be consistent with porch infill historically added to the porch's ability to this type, style, and age over time, and harmonious with the design of this building in terms of materials, configuration, and level of transparency and details. That the placement and size of the window window openings at the second floor and slight relocation of the door hood at the first floor will be compatible with the composition of the facades and consistent with the organization of such features typically found in arts and craft style houses of this age. That the proposed windows and doors would be in keeping with historic windows and doors at the house in terms of materials, details, proportions, and finish. That the new opening and paired doors to be installed beneath the hood will be typical of such features at buildings of this style and age in terms of placement and scale and will not detract from the hood. That the proposed skylight will be simple in design, small in size, installed at modern roofing and only visible from limited vantage points at oblique angles from a public thoroughfare. That the replacement of the simply designed garage doors and pier with a single wider door will address existing physical access constraints to the garage without eliminating any significant architectural features. That the replacement garage door featuring a wider vertical central trim element will recall the appearance of two doors when closed and will only be a discrete change to a background structure which when open and seen from a public thoroughfare at a distance. That the presence of the relocated hatch and new mechanical equipment and fencing at and near the corner of the street facing side yard will be typical in terms of placement of utilitarian installations of buildings of this size and footprint at corner lots 
and that the hatch equipment and fencing will be simple in design, limited in size, and closely grouped near the corner of the house within the vicinity of the existing equipment, and largely screened from public thoroughfares by plantings, helping them remain a discreet presence. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, this resolution's been passed. Thank you.